Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to do this right here. You'll notice that there is a uh, little box that pops up to the right of the score graphic. And what it's going to do is it's going to rotate through our sponsors um, that we have uh, that are sponsoring this broadcast. And I'm going to show you how you do that. It's very simple. We're going to build it in GT Title Designer and then through vMix, we're going to add it as an input. One thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that all of our graphics are the same size. And I'll show you how I did that. We're going to have that and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. Okay, so you've seen this several times before. This is my high school football layout. And I've added a few things down here uh, to the bottom that I'm showing you. It's uh, under Sponsor a Assets, Start and Pause Sponsor List, and then Show Sponsors. And I'm going to show that to you in just a moment. Uh, to get started, we're going to look in GT Title Designer. And what I did is I brought up my football graphic. And all I did was I went up here to where it says Rectangle, and I clicked on that. And then I drug me out. A rectangle that was about the same shape and then under format I went and I skewed it actually that's under it's under effects I went and I skewed it okay and you can see now that uh, it is skewed so what I'm going to do uh, just to get my um, just to get a feel of what the final product is going to look like I'm going to click on the rectangle one here and then I'm going to use my arrow keys to bring it in line where it's going to be and then I'm going to go up to home and under fill color I'm going to make it white and then under uh, outline color I'm going to make it black and I'm going to make the thickness of it about four and it's going to look like that instead of using white for the fill color I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a gray so I'm going to use that color right there and then what I did next is I uh, came over here to these layers and I got rid of everything that I had previously made except for this uh, rectangle that I just made. I, I, get rid, I got rid of everything else, all of this, and then I saved this as football scoreboard sponsors. And what I'll do is I'll bring this in on a separate overlay channel. In the production, it's going to look like it's, it's just one complete graphic. I created this rectangle right here. I got rid of everything else, and then I just saved this as a new graphic. I'm going to click on Scoreboard, and then when I come down here to these new sponsor assets that I've created and click on Show Sponsor, it's going to bring the sponsor in right there. Now, right here is a button that's going to start and pause the sponsors. I have it set up right now. It's going through pretty quickly, about every two seconds. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't use that during a game, um, but I'm going to click right here. And, you can, and you'll notice that the sponsors have stopped rolling through. Now what I did on this particular button is I used a, the command as play pause. And then what I did is I used the sponsor demo. Now the name of this particular input is sponsors for demo. And I made it uh, state dependent. So when it is active, it, there's going to be a little red light on uh, showing us that it is active. So you can see the little red light. And then once again, you can see that it's rolling through the sponsors next to that graphic. So when I, when I don't want to show it, I'll just click uh, this button right here. This, I have this set up as overlay input X. And, when, and we've talked about this before. When we use this command right here, it acts as a toggle. So this should actually say... This button should actually say show hide sponsors and that's what I'm changing it to and so now uh, when we click on it once it goes away and we click on it once more and it comes back uh, one of the things that I mentioned at the very onset is that to get this to work and to make it look right what you need to do is you need to make sure that all of the images are the exact same size and uh, what I did is I settled on, on a size, and it's kind of a strange size, but this is what I settled on. It's 694 by 368. So how, how can you uh, manipulate all of your logos to make sure they're the same size? Well, that's pretty easy. Anyway, what I did is I went and uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these. I went and I opened up paint. And uh, let's just go ahead and bring in one of the logos. 
And this one right here is not one that I'm that I'm using in the demo, but it's one that we can use for uh, for this. We're going to open it up, and it brings it in. And uh, this is Baptist Health Lagrange. It's for another uh, promotion that I do. And what I do is I resize it. So I just click on this button right here that says resize, and then you have to uncheck this button that says maintain aspect ratio. You have to uncheck that. Um, I'm not doing it as percentage, I'm actually doing it as pixels. So make sure you tick on the circle that says pixels and then go ahead and put that 694 by 368 that we're using and click OK. And it's gonna change it to those uh, parameters that we just put in and then we're gonna save it. So I'm just gonna click on save as, I'm gonna save it as a PNG. We're going to call it Baptist Health. So how do you how do you get a sponsor list in your uh, vMix production? Well, what I did is I went over here. Okay, so what I did is I clicked on Add Input, and then here's all the different types of inputs that you can select within vMix. So I clicked on the one that says Photos, and then it's going to ask you to uh, take you to the uh, particular uh, folder that your photos are in. So I clicked on Browse. And the name of my folder is Sponsors for Demo. And I click, uh, I select that and I click OK. And then the thing I wanted to make sure that I do is I have the um, loop on. And when I have the loop on, it's going to continually keep going through all the sponsors uh, that I have. So let's go ahead and look at the one. I'll go ahead and bring this one in the window there. And this is the one we're using. Let's look at slideshow settings. So this is what we're cycling through right now. We have these two, four, six, seven uh, sponsor logos. And I have it set for a transition uh, of two seconds, just so that for this video, you can see us clicking through those. Uh, you can use different effects if you wanted to. I just use a straight uh, cut effect. 500 milliseconds is what the duration of the effect is. So we're cutting. Uh, to the next one in 500 milliseconds and I, I chose not to use the uh, add uh, to add a black border when you click on that um, you can see where it adds a border uh, to the logos and I really didn't like that so I'm going to go ahead and un unclick that so how did I how was I able to bring this into the graphic well what I did is I went over on the new uh, graphic that I used which is this one right here uh, which says Facebook scoreboard sponsor and I clicked on the cog and what I did is I did a multi view in the uh, first line here uh, what I did is I hit the drop down menu and then I selected the uh, sponsor for demo input that I just created and then what I had to do is I had to work with the positioning a little bit to make sure it was exactly where I wanted it so what is that so what I did is I moved the uh, zoom uh, bar right here I moved it uh, over a little bit and then what I did is I, mixed, uh, I messed with the uh, pan X and Y until I got it exactly laid over top of that uh, new uh, graphic that we that we made earlier. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go up and I'm going to change the parameters on our slideshow settings because I during the, the, the game, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these on about uh, for about 10 minutes at a time. So what I would do, I would change this to about 600 seconds. And you can see that it quit clipping through like it was. And it's gonna, what it's going to do now is it's going to change it to a new sponsor uh, about every 10 minutes. But you can change it to whatever you know, duration that you, would, that you would prefer in your particular production. Okay, for the button that we're using that uh, actually starts the sponsor list, what I did is the command that I used is play pause. And then the input is the uh, sponsors for demo. Um, that we created earlier with the photos. And the way that I show and hide it, I'm doing overlay input X, and when we use it as uh, overlay input X, we know that's a toggle, and it's on overlay four, and I also made it um, state dependent. So when it's displayed in our production, we're gonna see a little red light right here, and we know that it is uh, clipping through or, or it's rolling through our sponsors because we also see the little red light. Okay, both of these buttons here are set up state dependent. So, and actually 
most all these buttons are set up to be state dependent. So I'm going to click on this one right here and it's going to bring in the scoreboard and you can see that the scoreboard does come in and you can see uh, the red light comes on showing that it is displayed in our production. And just so that you can see it a little bit clearer, I'm going to bring in the scoreboard now and then I'm going to bring in the sponsor portion of the scoreboard that we just made earlier. And um, I'm going to go back, change it to back to two seconds so that we can actually see the sponsors that are scrolling through. That's our tutorial for today. Make sure you do give us a thumbs up and a like and make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you very much.